Wait a minute, Twilight Town is the tutorial world? Welcome back to what will be the final video covering the D23 news. Yes, I know I have missed out a couple of different pieces of news here and there, but I've covered what I feel is some of the most important stuff coming out of the D23 news and interviews with Tetsuya Nomura. And in today's second upload, I'm going to be talking about something very interesting that came out of the Dengeki interview with Nomura, something that not a lot of people are, were expecting and has confused quite a lot of people, and that's the fact that Twilight Town will be a world for tutorials and will be in the game at the very early stages. But before I get into this information and my thoughts on it and how it might work, I first want to thank all you guys for 400 subscribers. 400, that is insane. We are well on our way to 500 now and I just, thank you, that's all I can really say. 400 was my goal by February of 2018 and we have hit that with what, like four, five months, you know, to spare. We can easily hit 450 by that point. So again, thank you all so much for 400. 100 subscribers that is absolutely insane but let's jump into the information that I'll be talking about today First off, I do want to address something that seems to be very important going into Kingdom Hearts 3. Dengeki asks, In Kingdom Hearts 2, after visiting each world once, there was a scenario incentive to revisit them, but what about Kingdom Hearts 3? And Nomura replies, I personally liked having to revisit the worlds twice, but Kingdom Hearts 3 has a different flow. And what he means by that is that, due to the density and richness within each world and how big they are, you're not going to have to go back to them unless you know you've forgotten chests, or there's like special heartlets, or nobodies you have to kill for different synthesis parts possibly, or other things like that, maybe secret bosses, secret enemies, other things like that, but if we're talking scenario and story purposes, unlike Kingdom Hearts 2, you do not have to go there for a second time, meaning there won't be a second visit, there won't be second bosses and second secret like subplots and stuff to the different worlds. There's only going to be one visit for each world, unless you've forgotten chests and different enemies and things to discover. Now the reason why this is important going into Kingdom Hearts 3 is that Dengeki then asks, from the previous E3 footage, there's a cutscene in Twilight Town. It seems to be an important world again. And Nomura replies, Twilight Town is a place where you'll have gameplay tutorials and it will be one of the earlier stages. Now the thing about this is, he doesn't specifically say it's the first world you go to. Really after we saw the 0.2 secret ending with Sora, Donald and Goofy saying, oh we have to go to Olympus Coliseum, it should really be common sense that yes, we will be going to Olympus Coliseum first. But the thing is, the thing is, when we see the likes of Xemnas and Ansem in that cutscene with Sora, Donald and Goofy, Sora's in his Kingdom Hearts 3 attire, but when we see him on Mount Olympus fighting the Rock Titan in Olympus Coliseum, he's in his Kingdom Hearts 2 attire, and it's not the second form Kingdom Hearts 2 attire, it is his actual Kingdom Hearts 2 attire. His hair is different, his outfit is different, all of that's different, which means how is this a tutorial world? The only way I can see this happening is that they go to Olympus Coliseum, they fight the, you know, the Rock Titan, they do some stuff with Hercules, Sora heads off to Twilight Town, and then at some point during the Twilight Town stages, you get to find someone, maybe it'll be the good fairies, maybe they'll go back to Mysterious Tower and they'll see them again, and he'll get his Kingdom Hearts 3 outfit. But that's very weird. Why would they say it's a tutorial stage when you're going to go to Olympus first? After all the news we've been given, Olympus should technically be the tutorial world of Kingdom Hearts 3. Unless they have plans to have maybe a different character fight in the tutorial level. Maybe we'll get to plays like Hainer or something, that would be weird. So this also kind of deconfirms the fact that young Xehanort and young Ericus aren't going to be 
playable as, you know, tutorial characters, which is a bit of a bummer. I wanted to play as both of them as a tutorial stage at the start of the game. Kind of like how we got Roxas and Twilight Town at the beginning of Kingdom Hearts 2, which is another thing. It's very weird that they're doing this considering Roxas was the Twilight Town tutorial stage in Kingdom Hearts 2, and that was a very big thing. A lot of people didn't like that because of how long it was. Don't think it's going to be the same here in Kingdom Hearts 3. However, it's going to be very interesting to see what this tutorial Kingdom Hearts 3 world for Twilight Town is going to be like. However, that is all the information I have for you guys this week. This is all of the D23 info I'm going to be covering and I'm not 100% sure if I'm actually going to do an analysis for this video. I do plan on doing different videos about the things being said within the trailer because young Xehanort was saying some very weird and very interesting things that have been formulating theories around. It's stuff that we have never really been hearing about before but I have my ideas about those things and I'm going to be giving you guys them next week. So video should go back to normal next week. I'm going to be bringing some Dragon Ball discussions back next week as well because of course this week has been all about Kingdom Hearts, all about the news, all about the information but it's all back to normal next week. So if you guys like this video please leave a like and a comment in the comment section below. What do you think of Twilight Time being the tutorial world? Do you think that we'll be playing as anyone else other than Sora for the tutorial? Let me know in the comments below. Please share this amongst your friends and if you could please hit the bell next to the subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification every single time I upload. That way you'll get every single piece of content to you as it goes up. I've been Azure Ace and before I get off this video thank you again for 400 subscribers. Thank you for coming to the video. You have arrived. I'm here to tell you that if you don't subscribe to Azure Ace for Dragon Ball, Kingdom Hearts, and Pokemon TCG content, you will wander forever in the darkness of your heart.